know, I had a friend that was in the hair industry in the early 80s, and he saw that my life was, I don't want to say not going anywhere, but at the same time, he saw the potential of where he worked, and there's no limit on how much you, you know, you can make in this business. It's what you make of it. And so he told me to come down and check out where he worked, and I saw that the hours are flexible, it's what you put into it, um, you could be an artist, you know, as you know, on people, on people, pretty much. And so I gave it a go, and I haven't looked back, and that was in 19, uh, the late 1988, 89. Meeting uh, new people, seeing the same, uh, you know, customers come in, pretty much, like I tell um, all the barbers that work here, is quality and customer service. As long as we have those two, you're good as gold. Or they are good as gold, you know. We're not trying to be something that we're not. This is what we do. This is how we play the game here. And that's what sets us apart. We're not trying to be something that we're not. It's the bottom line. We're barbers. We hired great barbers. You know, we just don't hire people just because they have a license. I want to see, before I hire them, I want to see what they can do. First of all, price salons, I don't want to say, like, it, it ranges from low to high, you know. Most salons charge a guy between 40 and, let's say, 80 bucks, you know. We're at 25. We're, I think, not on the low end, but uh, just a little bit above that. And I'd rather see you come twice a month than try to come back every two months, you know? A, sal a salon stylist, you know, on a haircut. Sometimes they don't know um, how short to go. Or if the guy wants it really short, stylists are not too comfortable with their clipper work. You know, it always boils down to the classic haircut. Whether it be a side part, slick back, um, you know, forward, you know, uh, off to the side a little bit. This whole industry, it's in a, it goes in a circle. It'll start with the classic, then it'll change to, to, you know, something different, then it changes to this, but it all goes in a circle. And it always comes back to the classic, you know. The classic will never change. Well, I worked in a whole bunch of uh, different places, um, and I saw that a lot of the product was either too thick, too sticky, too this, too that. So all the feedback that I would get from you know the people that would be cutting hair, whether it be men or women, you know, I just I just kept it inside of my head, you know. So when um, I partnered up with Scott Serrata. We both were on the same page of starting a product line, and when we came out with our first product, it still wasn't what we wanted, so we tweaked it from there. And from there, it moved on to the classic pomade, to the fiber pomade, to the gel uh, pomade, to the matte pomade, and then now we have, you know, our glycerin face soap for shave, we have our pre-shave oil, you know, that acts as a barrier between the skin and the blade, we have our two aftershaves that we have, and then we still have more products coming out. But we're not putting them out just to put out, you know? We want to put out product, you know, gradually. We want to perfect it. We want, we want that right product for Imperial because we want to imperialize over any other products that are out there.